another way that you can use IntelliJ to run Kotlin code snippets on the fly is by using the Kotlin REPL tool that is a standalone tool that is separate from the scratch file and separate from the worksheet. So if you look at the scratch file from before, you see we selected here to activate the use REPL similarly in the worksheet, but with this tool, which you access by navigating to tools, Kotlin and REPL, it opens a standalone window here that we could use. So this is convenient if you don't want to bother with creating these files, the scratch files in the worksheets, you just want to do something in isolation here without uh, adding new files. In this REPL window, you can just type in your Kotlin code and anytime you press return, it will take you to the next line without executing. But if you have to execute, you have to press command and return. So I want to do some rounding off of some numbers. And the number that I enter here is going to be either rounded up or down depending on the values. So let's start with something like 11.6. And after doing command return, it evaluates it and assigns a temporary variable to the result. So here we have res zero has been assigned value 12. Now, if I want to do something else here with the res zero, I can easily do that. If I want to say, uh, for example, let me check if this is even. So I create a function even, and this takes in a value, which is an int. Actually, this says long up here, so let's use it long. And it determines whether it's even or not. So take the value and mod by two L because it's a long. And if it's equal to zero L. Now I press return, that's not going to execute this, but then if I want to do is even and use this variable to check whether it's even, I'll pass that in and I'll do command return. And that shows that the Boolean is actually true. So this is an even number. If we were to use an odd number, Now res two is a value or has been assigned a value nine, which is rounded, rounded down to nine. And if I try again, even and do res two and return false. Another cool feature that this Kotlin REPL presents us with is that you can cycle through the history of the Kotlin code that you've executed. And you know, if you want to modify it and um, rerun it again, then you can easily do that. So thank you. Think, for example, if you have like a long method that you wrote earlier and you just want to change it and tweak it, um, you just cycle through the history by pressing the app arrow on your laptop and you can just go through until you find what you're looking for. So in this case, I want to change it from is even to is odd. What I'm going to do here is come here, this is what I'm looking for, I want to change this to is odd. And is that? Change this. Remember, res zero is referencing twelve still. So if I command return, it applies it is um, the changes that I just made. While working in this Kotlin REPL window, we can reference files that are defined in our project. When I started this window, these files existed already. So, for example, test, and we can go ahead and try and access it here and see how that goes. So we have test already imported. And I'm just going to do a quick command return. And you see that it's successful. So it just prints out hello and the value pass it in. Now, if we wanted to add a file here and run it, that would fail. It's just going to a simple print line. and come back here to the repo window and try and access it. And command return, no luck. The way we can fix this is by pulling these changes into this uh, repo window, because right now it's operating on a stale data or stale um, information about this project. So the way we do that is by doing a build and restart, which is this green curved arrow here. And when you click on that, now it has started that uh, repo window. 
and hopefully these changes should be now included in this context. So let's try that again. Ripple, it shows up this time before it's showing up. We import it and we do a print line, command you can, and the changes are there. 